All right, it is <clears throat> July the 17th, and everybody knows that um, these videos were coming out about uh, the 17th of July being the rapture. It is the 17th. There, uh, as of yet, there has been no rapture, um, and I believe it's going to stay that way because this is uh, past the moment in time when it was said that it was, you know, supposed to happen. So. As far as I'm concerned, it is over and done with. Um, you know, it's my hope that these people that were deceived by this, that they would simply realize that, that they were deceived and that they would, um, you know, choose to strengthen their faith and that they won't fall from the, from the faith. That's, that's the most important thing to think about. Uh, so we should all pray for those people that were deceived, first of all. You know, those are, those are the people that I feel the worst for are those that uh, gave in to these lies and, and this deceit. Secondly, Genevieve, uh, Rapture at Twilight, these people that have created these videos. Uh, secondly, you know, the ones that were doing the deception, responsible for the uh, deception here on YouTube. Secondly, I think that we should lift them up, yes. Yes, indeed. But also realize that what they were doing, you know, what they were doing is deliberate. And, and they know in their hearts that it was deliberate. Okay? So, my hope is that they would repent of that and that they would even get back on their channels and, and apologize to people because those people deserve an apology, in my opinion. Uh, you may think not. I, I definitely think so because they had a lot of people believing, uh, you know, these, these different things that this rapture was going to happen here on the 17th today. So, you know, I, I think that they, uh, those people deserve an apology. Um, for, for being misled and mistaught, you know, uh, what they were doing, as I said, was clearly deliberate. They were taking the word of God, mixing it in with numerology, astrology, uh, things not of God. And that in itself is a no, no. Anybody that, that, you know, reads the word of God knows you don't mix astrology and, and numerology with the word of God. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Spirit. Every word of God is flawless and is useful for teaching, correcting, rebuking, and training in righteousness. Um, it's perfect. The word of God is perfect. You add to or take away from that word, you're, you're going to be condemned for it, you know? You're going to pay the price for it. So, I was watching a video today and the person was saying much of the same that we need to uh, lift all of these people up in prayer and uh, Genevieve and uh, Rapture at Twilight. We need to lift these two people up. And the um, person went on to say, I know that these two women, um, I know that they're believers. I know they're women of God. And that's what, where I felt the Holy Spirit hit me is when that was said because clearly somebody who is going to deliberately lie to people, uh, I would not call that a woman of God. I would call that somebody with head knowledge. Anybody can read the Bible. Anybody can have that head knowledge. But to mix it with uh, thoughts of your own and, and you know, astrology and, and numerology, that, that's clearly not of God. So they have the potential, just like the rest of us, to get their lives right, to apologize as God would have them do to all of those people and, and to move on with their life, you know. Why, why the deception? Why the need for it? To gain money? Because I know right now that money was gained through this. Uh, GoFundMe pages, things of that sort, yeah. So, to gain viewers, to gain a following, what was the, the real purpose of it? Money was one of them. Um, 
it's just a shame for those people that that dove into it that far and got deceived. You know what I mean? So we need to lift all of these people up, the people that were deceived, the people that created the deception. We need to lift them all up because uh, we're all children of God, even though the Bible tells us that not everybody is our brother, not everybody is our sister, uh, and unless they're in Christ, you know. Um, we're all brothers and sisters, yes, but we're not all in Christ. So always keep that in mind, you know. Um, it's very, very important to surround yourself with good, positive people, people that are going to not lead you astray. And these days, in today's society, it's very, very uh, easy to get led astray. That is why God tells us to get into His Word. We as people need to get into God's Word on our own. Because if you get there on your own, you will never fall astray. Because that's a one-on-one -on -one connection with God. That's that's a one-on-one, -on -one, um, you know, thing between you and God when you get into your Word. And what I recommend you do is to pray before you read God's Word. And, you know, you go and you do your Bible reading and your study and then pray afterwards. You know, ask God to reveal to you what you just read, you know. And God will do it in a number of different ways. Sometimes you'll read something in His Word and, and not quite know what it means. And then two weeks later, something will happen. You might be driving around town and then you'll see something and God will... Uh, the Holy through the Holy Spirit, he'll he'll say, you know, this this is what I was talking about. You know, you may see something or have something happen in your life, or an event may take place, and he'll totally reveal his way to you in that way in a number of different ways. So, just be uh, receptive of, of what he wants to show you and teach you. So here we are, no rapture. Um, if you were one of those that believed that this was going to happen, um, I'm sorry for you, you know, that you uh, allowed yourself to be deceived, but uh, just get back, um, you know, back in your word, back in prayer, and realize that there is no one on this earth that knows the time, the hour, or the day that, uh, that Christ is going to return. And it's not important for us to know. First of all, it's not important for us to know because we are to be ready at all times. Not just a week before, not just a few hours before, but at all times. That's what it means to be a Christian, to be Christ-like, to follow Him daily, to have a relationship with Him. So... I feel bad for all of those that uh, that were deceived by this. I really, really do. Um, individuals that uh, were creating all of these videos, you know, I hope that they get right with God and that they uh, apologize to all of these people because they deserve it. Um, so those are just some thoughts about today. Continue to move forward with God. Um, Realize that you are worthy, that his promise remains, that he, he is coming back for us. There are many, many, many comments I'm getting about pre-trib rapture. I believe that the rapture will happen um, before the tribulation. And, you know, we can go on and on and on about that. But uh, that's <laughs> there's a difference between the rapture and the second coming. So we can get into that another time. But uh, I believe that the rapture will happen, and then after that, you know, all hell is going to break loose for those that are left. Um, it's going to be very difficult uh, at that time, so it's going to be uh, chaotic, crazy. But anyway, if you like this video, please share it. Uh, as always, uh, subscribe by clicking on the bell with the parentheses. That way you're notified of everything that I put out new. Uh, also, I do a live stream on Tuesdays, 10.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. 
If you're not able to join me on Tuesdays, you can simply email me at RighteousRedneck777 at Yahoo.com. I'll get those emails. Um, the next live stream that I do, I will uh, read the email, answer the email, and uh, I'll post the video once I'm done. That way you can uh, watch it at your convenience. So, guys, be blessed. Um, if you were one of the ones deceived, like I say, just uh, realize that you were deceived and just move forward with God, you know. Um, and, um, you know, going back to what I was saying earlier, the individual was saying that uh, the ones doing this, that she believed that they were uh, women of God, no. In the time that they were doing what they were doing, absolutely not women of God, because women of God would not deliberately deceive, what, thousands and thousands? Deliberately? That's not a woman of God. That's a woman that has knowledge of God. Knowledge of God does not make one a Christian, does not mean that somebody has a relationship with God. Anybody can have head knowledge of God's Word. Anybody. So, the Holy Spirit spoke to me when I heard that in that video earlier. He expects us to call a woman a woman. He expects us to call a man a man, a dog a dog, a cat a cat. It is what we see is what we got. And if we see somebody that's deliberately causing other people to fall, that is not a child of God. Not at least in that moment, not until they repent and get their life right. We all make mistakes, yes, but when you are uh, deliberately deceiving people, especially when it involves the things of God, that is not a person of God. As far as I'm concerned, that is a person being driven by the enemy, and the enemy is Satan. So that's how I feel about it. You may feel differently. We, you can comment below and we'll discuss it. But uh, if you like this video, as I said, share it. And uh, you guys be blessed. Keep moving forward with God. Stay strong in your prayer life. And um, find you a church home that's good for you. All of those things are good um, for you and, and your walk with God. So be blessed. Let's pray for these people. They definitely need it. And let's pray that these people remain in the faith, the ones that were deceived, and that they don't, um, don't lose their faith and their hope in God because Christ is returning. We just don't know the day or the hour. So you guys be blessed.